I'm an animal lover. How about you? I think animals are great and they are constantly surprising me. There are over 1 million species of animals on planet Earth and some of them are really strange. In today's episode of The Supreme, we're talking about the 10 most unusual land animals in the world. I want you to tell me your favorite from the list in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. White Tiger This is a real image of a famous tiger called Kenny. Kenny was a white tiger and he had Down syndrome. White tigers are not a species and can only be created by heavily inbreeding Siberian and Bengal crosses. Kenny had been selectively bred in captivity to look the way he did, and all of the inbreeding led to his extra chromosome. It is said that his breeders were animal traffickers who were looking to make thousands of dollars off the sale of a white tiger. Rescued from captivity in the year 2000, Kenny lived out the rest of his life in a wildlife sanctuary in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. His inbreeding led to his unique looking face. Some mean people on the internet dubbed him the world's ugliest tiger, but I don't think tigers can be ugly. I think he looked kind of cute, but he certainly didn't look like regular ferocious tigers. Unfortunately for Kenny, the breeder's quest to make him white left him with a mental disability and he needed more care than other tigers in the sanctuary. He passed away in 2008. <laughs> Proboscis monkey. I was today years old when I discovered that proboscis monkeys were a thing. Now that I know, the world is a better place. But seriously, look at its nose. This may be the cutest and weirdest looking monkey of all time. This rare monkey is found on the Southeast Asia island of Borneo and is usually hiding amid mangrove forests. Locals call them Dutch monkeys, as they say their big noses and bellies make them look like the Dutch colonizers who tried to take their land. Fun fact for you, these monkeys are known to hunk. They sound kind of like geese when they talk to each other. The monkeys are mainly herbivores and will sometimes eat insects. The species is considered to be endangered, which is sad to hear. Hopefully, we can work to keep them alive and thriving, not just because they have such funny faces. I know that it isn't okay to have a monkey as a pet these these days, but I'd really like to be buds with one of these guys. They look like they'd be pretty chill. Peacock Spider This spider is the size of an eraser, but it has a huge personality. Peacock spiders are 0.2 inches in length, and the males of the species are known for their elaborate mating dance, which is how they get their name. They raise their legs in the air, vibrate a little, and flash colorful flaps. Don't believe me? Here's a video of the spider doing its best seductive dance. The dance has to be good, though, because if the female spider isn't impressed, she'll eat the would-be suitor. These little creatures may be small, but they're also fearsome hunters. They will stalk and strike their prey, but again, they're so small, they really aren't a risk to humans at all. We can just enjoy them for their quirkiness. <laughs> Axolotl. Wait, what, is this a Pokemon? No, it's a real animal. Weird. An axolotl is often called a Mexican walking fish, although it's actually a salamander. The creature gets its name from Aztec god of fire and lightning, and they can be found in several lakes around Mexico. They're usually around 9 inches in length, but they can grow up to about 18 inches. They have a very unique look and a kind of funny facial expression. I wonder what they're thinking. Things are about to get creepy as I tell you their main way of feeding is by suction. Some axolotls are brown and red in color, but there's also an albino and a pink variety, which look the coolest. As well as looking like a mythical creature, the axolotl has the crazy ability to regenerate its limbs, which makes it a popular animal to study for scientific research. Sadly for these unique creatures, Mexican urbanization has led them to being declared as a critically endangered species. Panda ants I thought the image of this ant was photoshopped, but it turns out that it's real. There's one thing though, panda ants aren't actually ants, they're wasps. But what's in a name? Especially when you look this unique. The insects are native to Chile, but have also been found in Mexico and the southern border regions of the United States. While you may want to get up close with one of these Instagrammable insects, you'd be better advised to admire them from a distance. They have a very big and 
painful sting. Despite females being able to lay up to 2,000 eggs each year, the panda ant is actually on the verge of extinction. <laughs> Pangolin. What? is this? Pangolins are African and Asian animals with a very unusual appearance. They look like they're wearing armor. Their scales aren't the only way they protect themselves either. They roll into a ball and lash out their sharp tail to protect themselves from predators. Their name actually comes from the Malay word for roller, which makes sense. I think they're kind of cute, but what do you think? Can you imagine seeing one in the wild? You'd be so confused. As a wider species, pangolins are the most endangered animals in the world. They've been hunted for their meat and skin in the past, but there are now laws to protect them. Poodle moth. What is this? It is the Venezuelan poodle moth. This weird-looking, furry creature took the internet by storm when it was discovered in 2009. The moth was first photographed in 2009 by Dr. Arthur Anker and is an extremely rare but extremely cute winged creature. I had no idea I would ever publicly declare that I thought a moth was cute, but here we are. What do you guys think of this bizarre-looking creature feature? We don't know much about the poodle moth as it is very rare, but it is found in the Canaima National Park in Venezuela. It isn't the only furry moth out there. Another good contender for hairy moth of the week is the rosy maple moth, which is also very unusual to look at. Naked mole rat. Why though? Why? Why is this cross between a mole and a rat looking so mm, nude? Naked mole rats are native to East Africa, and while they're kind of nightmarish to look at, they are rarely seen above ground. The creature burrows in the ground and, bizarrely for a mammal, is almost entirely cold-blooded. The animal is just four inches long and has the amazing ability to live in areas without much oxygen. Naked mole rats are actually incredible. They don't feel any pain and seem to be resistant to cancer. On top of that, they seem to defy the biological laws of aging. Scientists love these magic naked mole rats. <laughs> Shoebill cute or terrifying? What do you think? I still don't know how I feel about birds. Ever since I watched Alfred Hitchcock's horror movie, The Birds, I imagine every bird as a potential enemy. This one would be a scary foe. The shoebill, also known as a well-headed stork, is big. In height, they can stand tall at over 55 inches, with some reaching 60 inches. That is nearly the height of a small human. Their wingspan is around eight and a half feet, which is also huge. They have very big beaks and kinda look like a cross between a pelican and a stork. To me, they look kinda prehistoric. Have you ever heard of dodos? They were weird looking birds, but they went extinct in the late 1700s. The shoebills remind me of those. These big birds live on land and in Africa and usually hang out in swampy areas. They aren't a danger to humans. They have been noted as being very tame. They are also said to be slow, which means even in that bird situation, you could run away from them. They are also very popular among bird watchers, and I get it. Seeing a shoebill would be pretty exciting. <laughs> Star-nosed mole. This looks like something from a fantasy movie, like Pan's Labyrinth. I cannot believe that this is a real creature that is living and breathing on Earth. Like, where is its head? Instead of having usual facial features, the star-nosed mole has 22 nostril rays, making it look like a half-mole, half-octopus. These tendril-like appendages are in constant motion, which I find unsettling. It seems that its face is very, very alive. It has 25,000 sensory receptors known as Imer's organs. It's also very fast. It can touch 10 different areas in the soil every second as it roots around for food. Luckily, the mole is only hamster-sized. Can you imagine one being human-sized? Fellow North Americans watching this video, did you know that we share a continent with this beast? It lives in the northeastern states in the U.S. and in southeast parts of Canada. Scientists are very interested in star-nosed moles because of their ability to process information. Okay, seriously though, who is going to have nightmares about the star-nosed mole tonight? Just me? Okay, cool. That was the 10 most unusual land animals in the world. What do you think about these 10 crazy creatures? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know which you would most like as a pet. While you're at it, I'd love to hear your favorite animal as well.